videos and I'm going to be showing you how to use a triple green balance today. So, the first thing for using a triple green balance is you always have to make sure that it is on zero marks. So, let's zoom into that. So, here you see that the line is on the zero mark. So, that means that it's zeroed out. So, next, we're going to be using, sorry, um, we're going to be measuring Elmer's glue, then we'll go on to pliers, and then we'll go on to a cube. So, first things first, is you always need to know that the first thing you need to know is that you need to put, you need to always start with the biggest writer which is here in these columns, sorry, mix that up. And then you go on to the second biggest, which is the last, which goes by tens, and then the first writer that goes by ones. So we'll put the Elmer's glue up here. Now that the Elmer's glue is up there, now you see that it went up because the Elmer's glue is weighing it down. Think of it as a seesaw. The heavier is always on the other side, and that's on the lower side. That's weighing the whole thing down. The whole board down. So now, so now we'll go on to the biggest writer. We'll go. Now we're at 100. And that's too heavy. So we're gonna put it back to zero. And then we'll go back to. Now we use the second biggest, which goes by 10. So let's. We're at 10 there. We're at 20 there. We're at 30, 40, 50, and that's not zeroed out, so we're going to go back, that's a little too heavy. So here, we're back to 40. So that's about good, so now we're going to the smallest. Which here we're going to be uh, okay. So what happened? okay, here we're at one. Then we're going to two. Now three. It's not yet zeroed out. We're going to four. Going to five. Going little by little. Six. Go on to seven, go on to eight, and that is almost zeroed out. So we'll go on and right there it's zeroed out. So that would give us, now we add all the numbers together. So we don't have a zero, we don't have a hundred or two hundred or three hundred up to five hundred. So we go on to the next one, which is forty. And now that we're here, now it's forty eight points. We'll count one, two, three, four, five, six. So forty eight point six grams. That's how much. That's how much the glue is. And we'll take the glue off, move everything back. I'll make sure our thing is, our triple beam balance is zeroed out once again. So then, now we're gonna measure the pliers. So we'll put the pliers right on top of the plate now that it's zeroed out again. Once again, it goes up, and we'll start it over the way we started with the glue. So now we're going on to 100. So we're at 100. And now we're going on to 200, and that's way too big. So we're going to go back to 100. Now we're going to go on to 10s. And that is zeroed out right there, as you can see. 
Is that the zero mark? So that will be 110. That will be the density? Oh, not density. The mass of the pliers. Holy crap, I'm going to have a lot of editing. All right. So now we're going to go on to the cube. And of course, we put everything back the way it was to make sure that this is balanced out. It's at the zero mark, so it's at the zero mark. And we'll take this cube and we'll do as we did before, put it on the top. Now we're going to go on to 100, and that's way too big. Now we'll go to the tens. So 10, that's still way too big. So we're going to put that back to zero. Now we'll start with the smallest one. We'll move slowly. So we're going to keep going. So right now we're at four. Now we're going to go into five. See if that's zero out. That's a little too heavy, so we're going to go back just a bit. All right, that's still a little bit too much. It's not completely zeroed out now. So we're going to go back just a bit. Okay, now this is zeroed out, and that leaves us with 4.3. Can we take it off? We put everything back, make sure this is zeroed out again, so the next person that uses the triple beam balance is completely ready and set to go, and that is how you use a triple beam balance.